so I'm just watching the final 30 seconds of this match. We've got four minutes of added time. We're two one down. And uh, yeah, um, let's find out what happens. Nothing's gonna happen. Wolves have just cleared it wide now. Fair play, Wolves. You beat us. Um, honestly, I'm fuming right now. Um, it's just so, so, so frustrating. And again, we lose. The Banter Club loses again. We lose again. We're down to the last 10 seconds now. Gabriel's just cleared it up the field. Can get to Bamian. He had he done nothing in this game. Saka. Just yeah, go on then. Blo ref blow. Go on, blow, blow then. Ref go on. Go on, Bukayo. Go on, Joe. And that's full time. Yeah, full time. We've lost that. 2 1. Fair play, Wolves. And um, let's give it to my player range of that shocking, shocking performance. <laughs> Shocking, shocking performance again at home. Three games in a row we've lost at home. Mick on Titter. I'm starting to lose trust. I am really am now. I, I'm starting to run out of patience with this manager. Um, uh, right. Listen, I'm, I have no idea. That was just another shocking performance. That's Leicester we lost to, Aston Villa we lost to, now Wolves we lost to. What a shocking start to the season. What a shocking performance. Appalling, abysmal, any word you want to say. Now, I ain't going to try and rant, I ain't going to bother ranting, because I've seen it all before. It's the same old Arsenal, we've said it all the time. Same old, same old, nothing's changed. Oh, but he's, he, we can't say it's improved the defence, has he? Oh, yeah, of course, of course he has. Yeah, of course he has. Uh, he's more... Uh, if he's improved the defence, then look at the attack now. What's the attack doing? Absolutely nothing. It took a defender to score for us today. Goal of the sea, uh, goal of the month, Gabriel Maglas for his header. Honestly, and he was the best player on the pitch. He, he was my man of the match for us. Um, and it's just so... I, I, I got no words. It's just so frustrating how we just lost that. Like, the game started off um, actually very, you know, like, sad because there's an injury uh, from David Louise. Luckily, he, he was all right. And uh, also, uh, all, all the best, like, I, I wish all the best to... Uh, and I wish him the best recovery to uh, Raul Jimenez. Um, absolutely nasty knot. They both uh, clint, um, like clashed heads. And um, he had to be sent to hospital. And he was like very unconscious for a bit. But I was wishing the best recovery. And um, yeah. And then they um, obviously got... They scored first. Uh, because that's because that's what we do. We we let the team score first. Yeah. They score first. Uh, great, great goal. I think it was Neto who scored. I, I, I did say in my preview he was a good player. I mean, better watch out. Um, and then we, uh, two minutes later, come back. Uh, Willian puts a cross in, uh, a very good cross. Gabriel heads it. One, one, one more. I'm thinking, yes, come on. Maybe we, you know, maybe we've actually changed a little bit. But no, I was wrong. I was wrong again. Wolves go down the other end and score. Uh, like. 10 minutes later and make it 2-1 and that's the game set and done the game and then after that half time came along second half we come out and he's shocking um and Wolves just bought on that new def another defender defensive midfielder and they just sat back and fair play Wolves uh Nuno out tacticked um Mikan to, to tonight and listen Mikan to uh, in or out let me know what you guys think because I, I'm really I'm I'm really losing I'm, I'm losing patience I'm really Get, it's really getting get on my nerves now. We've lost three home games in a row. We sat Emery for, for, for drawing with Southampton and losing to Frankfurt. Remember that? Yeah, th that, that's what we sat Emery for. He never lost three games in a row, did he? If I can re remember correctly. I don't think he ever lost three games in a row. Mikante has lost three games in a row at the Emirates Stadium. What, that was the last time that ever happened was 1908. Honestly, it's so frustrating. I'm sorry, but um, I'm just, I'm really on that edge now where I'm gonna, have, I'm starting to, I'm just starting to lose confidence with his manager. I've backed him all the way. I'm sure half of the fan base have backed him. The like, other half like want him out, and you have to respect their opinion. Like you can't hate them for wanting the manager out. It's their opinion. But what I will say is, um, he's running out of time for me. And people can call me a flip-flop, fake fan or whatever. Listen, listen, I ain't a fake fan, yeah. 
if I was if if I was a fake fan, I wouldn't be making every single of these videos all the time. If I wouldn't be doing player ratings and previews every single time, I wouldn't watch every single match. I wouldn't have all this in my, in my room. If I was a fake fan, fake fans are the one who should sit there, be all little flip flops. One minute go they they, they say uh, trust the process and all that, and then they go on to her out, on to her in. They're the flip flops. They're the fake fans. Yeah. Listen, I I, I have no idea. Like it's. I'm getting to the stage where it's like, I just don't trust this manager anymore. And um, I think the North London Derby's coming up as well. Yes! Yes! Top of the league Spurs against Jose Mourinho. Uh, against uh, Mikel Anteta. 15th now, aren't we? Yeah. Wonder how that's going to go. Oh, it'll, it'll, be all, it'll be all fine when we go to the Europa League and win like 6 0 against uh, Rapid V. And everyone, everyone will be like, oh, Mikel Anteta's magic again. Just because we beat six, that's just because we're gonna go win six nil against Rapid Vienna, and then we go against Spurs. We like, oh yes, Mikel, and then um, probably go and lose that. And um, again, if we lose against Spurs, I we can't set her out. Don't don't even care. I we can't set her out. For now, uh, I'm really losing patience. Let, let me let me know what you guys think as, about it as well. But let's get around to my player. Let's go. Burn them though. The when the away kit for some reason today. I don't even care. Um, he's he's going to get... Um, what was he doing on that first goal, though? He just completely spilled it. Six out of ten. Maybe in a five. I mean, only apart from that first, first goal. I mean, he did have to make a few couple of saves. I'm giving him a six out of ten. Um, the back four. Zoolander. Fashion model Hector Bellerin. Mick Arteta's son. Getting a three out of ten. Three out of ten. Another useless performance from him. Listen, he's not good enough. He can't cross. He can't even cross a ball. Like he can't even cross a road or nothing. He's just so useless. Yeah, the amount of times he got bodied as well. He gets so caught out of his position as well. Three out of ten, useless. Gets him out. Bring him Lamptey from Brighton. Bring him Max Aarons or someone like that. They had Nelson Semedo from Barcelona. Why couldn't we have got him? He's a top class fullback. Yeah, like seriously, so frustrating. Centre backs, Gabriel Magalas, eight out of ten, oh, my man of the match for us. Obviously got the goal and he and, and he put his neck on the line again. He, he he cares about Arsenal. Yeah, the amount of times he put in some he put in some very good challenges as well. David the Wees, I'm gonna give him a five out of ten. He came off at half time because it was his injury and that. So yeah, five out of ten for David the Wees. Left back Kieran Tierney, I'm gonna give Tierney a six. Just I mean he he wasn't himself today and um, I mean he. He did. He didn't have that bad of a performance, but the amount of times Trier just ran past him was just unreal. But then again, he did try and was the only one trying to attack. Put in some good crosses as well. So six out of ten. The midfield, one of the worst performances I've seen from Danny Ceballos. Danny Ceballos. He drinks a trailer. He eats Bayella. The boy is effing magic. No, he's effing tragic, mate. He's shocking. Um. Three out. Of, I'm really. I really want to say two. And I two two out of ten for Danny Sobios. I don't care what everyone thinks. Oh, Danny Sobios. He spins around like a fidget spinner, loses the ball, and walks back. Two out of ten. Uh, Granite Xhaka. Granite Xhaka. One out of ten. One out of ten. He got the ball and lost it sideways. Lo lost it sideways. One out of ten. Appalling. Gets him out. I backed him for so long as well. Gets him out. Uh, Joe Willock, probably our best midfielder, and he, and he was shocking as well. Four out of ten. It says something, don't it? Four out of ten. And then our fan base will go, don't be harsh on the youngsters. No. Four, four out of ten for Joe Willock. Yeah, he's he's had his chance, and yes, he was one of our best midfielders, but he, he was shocking as well, and that's definitely saying something as well. That, that, that's saying that our midfield is absolutely shite. Um... The front three, yes, the front three. Bakayo Saka, I'm giving Saka a six. I thought he's definitely actually trying, and um, was again the only one who really cares. Abamian played down the middle, done the shocking, did nothing, absolutely nothing. Three out of ten. Sorry, three out of ten. You know, yes, he's got no, um, you know, people getting it to him. You know, and he, half the time he has to come back to get the ball. But, yeah, he just it's not good enough. Three out of ten. And, again, he's got his two goals of the season. Gabriel Magla's got ten goals of, amount of goals of him now. And then, uh, right mid, Willian. I'm giving Willian a six because he did get the assist. And I thought he, he, he was all right. And, um, again, that's saying something because he's normally shite. But, yeah, Willian's going to get a six. The subs, Reece Nelson, 
Rob Holden, I'm gonna give all the standard fives, Lacazette. I mean Lacazette didn't do anything, did he? he did. I don't even, don't even think he touched the ball. Um But yeah, I just think oh, it's just oh, it's just abysmal. Mikel Anteta. Mikel Anteta. Um Four out of ten. Four out of ten. Yeah. The lineup, why is Hector Bellerin playing? Why is William playing? Um although William had a good performance. The, the, uh, obviously party was injured. But yeah, the lineup was just he did play by man down the middle. But the performance was just shocking. You know, like he out I think it obviously is a better performance against Aston Villa. It still wasn't good good enough though. So yeah, four out of seven for me concert. Let me know if you guys uh back this manager now. Trust the process, none of the ghost for all these PR words. Yeah. With us three out of in our last three. We haven't won since Manchester United, I don't think. That 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 was on um, November fourteenth, wasn't it? Remembrance Day. So it's just, and at home, the last time we won was in October against Sheffield United. It's like, <sighs> where do we go next? Oh yes, of course, Rapid Vienna. Yes, Rapid Vienna, of course. Yes, Arsenal Football Club will probably smash them. Oh, two thousand fans will be returning. I wouldn't be surprised if if only ten thousand turned up with our performances recently. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.